to the CAD Gallery. My name is Mr. Crooks, and today we'll be looking at another quick lesson in CAD. So, today we'll be looking at how to construct a triangle given the perimeter and the ratio for the sides, or the ratio of the sides, right? So, we all know that um, triangles have three sides, but what if we were actually just given a perimeter, which is the total distance around the triangle, and also the ratio or proportion to which the sides were divided into, how would we go about constructing a triangle? Let's head on over to CAD and look at this. So first, we are going to look at the numbers and we're given one right here, its perimeter and also the ratio for the sides. So what we're gonna do is, we're gonna go back to our layers, we're gonna select the construction layer, because we're gonna start out um, using construction lines. So I'm gonna select the line tool, turn on our ortho, and then we're going to draw a line. And this line is gonna measure 120 millimeters. Enter, escape to come out. Then we're going to, again, label our line. So we're gonna to go to the single point tool and we're going to enter some text. So we're gonna specify where we want the text to appear, but first we have to turn off our snap mode and turn off our ortho. So I'm going to, I want that line to appear, or sorry, that text appear at the end point. So I'm going to click just about where I want it to appear. Uh, if you are using CAD and you notice that there's a number in the bracket down here highlighted, CAD tends to remember the last numbers that you used. So I won't have to specify the text height again. It's set up for us to be able to move quickly through the software and quickly through our drawings, right? So it remembers four, so it's gonna press enter and it also remember, remembers the angle of rotation. So I'm gonna hit enter. Then I'm going to type the dot capital A Enter, escape, come out. I'm going to change this to the text layer. Escape, I'm going to move this. You're going to, you just click on the letter to select it. Then you hold down and drag and drop it, all right? Quite simple, all right? This went back on the construction layer. I'm gonna to move to the text layer. Escape, I'm gonna select it. Control C to copy, Control V to paste. And add another, name the point to the end of the line. I'm going to double click it to edit it. Change that to B, enter, escape to come out. Then I'm going to re-enable my snap modes or my object snap, right? And then I'm going to select the line tool again and clicking at the end point, I'm just going to draw a line, any angle, any length. Doesn't matter the angle, doesn't matter the length, right? So I'm going to draw a line. Um, I'm looking at 25 degrees, but really and truly, it can be any length and it can be any angle, doesn't matter. I'm just gonna click. And then I'm gonna press escape. So right then, uh, right there we have two points on a line and a next line drawn at an angle to that line, right? So what we're gonna do now is we're gonna divide this line by a ratio. So you're gonna take the whole, which is four plus three plus six, Right, and four and three is equal to seven. Add six to that, 
you get 13. So we want to divide this line down here into 13 equal parts. So what you're going to do is use the divide command. You're going to type divide or div, enter. And we're going to select the object that we want to divide, which is this line down here. And then we're going to type the amount of segments we want to divide it in. We're going to type 13, hit enter. And just like that, our line is divided into 13 equal parts. Now, notice when you look at my line, you're seeing some points. Your points may not show like this. Uh, I had to actually edit my points using something we call the P style, or sorry, P type. So you type P, type, hit enter. And then I changed it from this dot or this dotted point to this X. And I also changed it from being set in relative, in a size relative to the screen to a size in absolute you are an absolute unit. And I just made it one unit so the point would be relatively small, but still properly visible, right? So I'm just gonna press okay because I already edited this. So remember, you need to edit your, your uh, P type so that the points will be visible for this step, right? So now I'm going to take a line and I'm going to ensure that my snap mode is on and ensure that endpoint is on in the snaps. So make sure that endpoint is on. And then I'm going to take a line. I'm going to click here on the endpoint. Make sure that your author is off. If your author is on, then you'll have an issue in drawing the line at any angle like this. All right, so I'm just going to snap onto the end point here again. And then I'm going to press escape to come out. Now notice you have a clear line from end point to end point. Then with this, you're going to copy this line so that you have parallel lines going along the length of this here drawing. So we're going to type copy and hit enter. And it's going to ask us to specify the base point on the line that we selected that we want to copy. Where do you want to copy it from? Basically, that's what it, that's what it asked me. So I'm going to select a point down here. And then I'm going to select the node. Ensure that node is on in your snap mode. So I'm going to select this node right here. This node. This node. This node this node, that one, and I'm gonna go all the way to the top up here, taking it all the way to the very last one. So once you're done with that, you press escape to come out and you should have something looking like this. To make it neat, what I'm going to do is I'm going to trim, I'm going to trim this line or these lines that project above line AB. So I'm going to trim it by typing TR and hitting enter twice. Then you'll be able to just click, drag, and trim all of those points. Escape to come out. So you should have a line which is divided into 13 equal parts. Right? If you follow along, you should have this step with your line divided into 13 equal parts. You do not want to draw from Starting from A down, you want to draw from B up, right? So next point, our next, um, the next part of the drawing is that we're going to disable our snap mode again. And we're going to copy point A, control C, control V to paste, and I'm going to paste some letters here because you want a number to ensure that you can keep track of the points, right? The number, I'm gonna modify all of these now. So we're gonna count one, 
So. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Where's that one ever? So we have to go back over that one. Eight. Nine. Ten. And the ten is a little bit too close to the line for my liking, so I'm just going to move it over a little bit. Right. Eleven. Twelve. Do that one again. Twelve. Again, move twelve over a little bit. And finally, last point, thirteen. So you're supposed to have point thirteen connected to B, and then you use that line to copy parallel lines at each point going up, right? So now we're going to actually be doing a little bit of the plotting using the information given up here. And we're gonna be using the point command to mark off where our points will connect, right? So all you're gonna do is you're gonna count, do a little bit of counting. So we're gonna start from this end here and count going this way. So we're gonna count off four, then three, then six. So basically, start from here. This is zero, one, two, three, four. So enable our snap mode. So let's go again, zero, one, two, three, four. Click right there and the point marks the spot. Then we're gonna count three. So hit enter to go back into the point tool. So zero, one, two, three. Our next point is here. And then if you're correct and you count, you should get six out here. So zero, one, two, three, four, five, six. So we know we're right on the money, right? So now what we're gonna do is now we're gonna draw two arcs to actually get the line to, I'm sorry about that, to get the line to actually fold, the lines to fold. So the perimeter will be cutting the perimeter and bringing it up, right? So that's what the arcs basically are doing. So we're gonna go in the arc tool and we're going to select this center and then we're gonna select the point right here and then we're gonna to move to A, right? And then we're gonna press Control because remember we're going clockwise. You go up, right? Then we're gonna hit Enter again and then select Center. And then we're gonna to go to this other point right here, click and then go to point B and then we're gonna drag up and over. Where the lines intersect, you have to watch out for the snap modes that form on the arc because if you're not careful and you click one of the snap the snaps that are highlighted there, you will find that your arc will shift over to fit wherever the snap is. So ensure that you're not snapping onto or you're not clicking onto where the snaps are highlighted. So you just click and you escape. That final point here is point C. So let us copy this point right here. Control C, Control V, paste, escape, and edit this really quickly. C, enter, escape. So this is C right here. So I'm gonna select my outline layer, and I'm going to now draw my triangle. So I'm using the intersection of the two arcs. I'm gonna click 
and then I'm going to go down to this first point here, which is the node that I created. I'm going to go across to this other point here, and I'm going to go back, or I'm going to press C to close. And that is my triangle. So that is how to construct a triangle, given its perimeter and the ratio of sides, which just happens to be four to three to six. So if you're given a different ratio, all you have to do is just follow the same basic steps. You're going to add the, 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 um, the ratio for the sides. Then you're going to divide the perimeter which was given. And basically just follow the same steps. And then after that, you count the number of sides and then you draw the arcs. And basically, you will have your triangle. So again, if there are any questions, if there are any comments, please feel free to comment and ensure that you subscribe to the channel so that you can get video updates. Also, please drop a like if you actually like the video. All right. Thank you very much.